you have bookmarks or imported data or survey data that you want to pull into Google Earth, first you need to export it. So I have some bookmarks that I've bookmarked previously here. To export them, I click on the Export tab. If I want to pull them into Google Earth specifically, I want to use a KML uh, format. So KML is Google Earth's uh, native format. You might also hear the term KMZ. A KMZ is just a zipped KML file. Um, so the KML is sort of the, the file itself that you would need to unzip to work with in Google Earth. So we provide that as is. So you click KML, it'll show up as a download as I've done here. Once I click download, it's then available for me to pull into Google Earth. So there's two parallel and similar platforms for Google Earth, and I'll show you how to import this into both. So the first one is the browser version. Uh, here you load up Google Earth, hit projects, new project, import KML file from computer, navigate to where you have it. In my case, this is in the downloads. And that's all you have to do. The program will zoom into the appropriate parcels and you can see them here on the screen. If you turn down the uh, folder, um, in this case sort of containing all of my bookmarks, you can access the other features um, that Google Earth provides with these things, including an edit function where you can add other information, you can draw on here, and all the other things you want to do in Google Earth. If you would like to work with Google Earth Pro, the setup for importing the data is similar but a little bit different. So here you go to File, Open, navigate to your KMLs and click open and this will add it to the project under temporary places here but do the same thing on the screen I zoom you into the bookmarks that you're looking for and from here you can manipulate it I don't use Google Earth very often but I believe that the desktop version has a few more features and ability to sort of customize It's worth noting too that while you can view attribute data, i.e. the columns with property information um, that you can get via LandGrid in Google Earth applications, it's not particularly easy, at least I don't think so, to work with this information in a more uh, spatial analysis way. So Google Earth is great for viewing, not so good if you want to do larger analysis on the stuff that's actually associated with the, uh, the parcel polygons. If you're looking to do more analysis, like how many of the properties that I've bookmarked are two-family um, zoning, things like that are better served in a different application. The two that I would probably recommend are ArcGIS or QGIS.